Good morning, St. Louis! Welcome to another stop on the STL Donut Tour. Today's donut destination is Kim's Korean Bakery on Olive Boulevard in Chesterfield. Another stop recommended to me by an Instagram follower, Kim's is exactly the type of place I'm looking for in Season 6. Friendly, inviting, a nice sweet smell of baked goods in the air, this locally owned family bakery has been making delicious Korean style pastries, cakes, and breads since 2004. Although more well known for their amazing cakes and cookies, Kim's has a great selection of sweet and savory donuts that I think you're going to love. Some of these donuts are totally unique with flavors unlike anything we've seen on the tour so far. If you've got an open mind and an adventurous palate, then I think you could find a new favorite bakery today. Everything in the store is baked fresh daily from all natural premium quality ingredients and individually wrapped in-house. If you get there early like I did, then you can get the donuts still warm from the fryer, giving them an even better texture and flavor. So without any further ado, let's check out those donuts. Starting off today, we have a sweet rice donut. I was lucky enough to get these fresh from the fryer, and they were so warm and sweet. The dough has an amazing chewiness with a sweet, light rice flavor, and the inside is filled with a delicious red bean puree. The flavor and texture on this are just exquisite, and I am so happy to find such a unique style of donut just outside St. Louis. Following that, we have the only familiar American style donut at Kim's, the Cinnamon Twist. I loved this donut. It has a beautiful golden color and a crispy, crunchy cinnamon sugar coating that has a real pleasant mouthfeel. The flavor is so buttery with a nice overall touch of cinnamon sugar. This is one of my favorite cinnamon twists so far. I love the crunchy coating. Totally makes this a destination donut. After that, we have a light golden triangle of French toast. Crisp and buttery with nicely browned edges, what at first glance looks like a plain piece of white bread is a fantastic version of a breakfast classic. Kim's makes the most delicious and flavorful bread, and then gives it a crisp, sugary egg white coating. This here is all about the bread. Other shops' French toast offerings focus on the maple syrup flavoring, this shop focuses on the bread and makes the best toast money can buy. Next up is the custard bread. This is definitely more on the bread side than a donut. Uh, it has the shape and texture of a nice bun with a yeasty sweet flavor. It is a golden brown, amazingly soft and fluffy, filled with a good amount of one of the best custards I've ever eaten. Light, fluffy, creamy, sweet enough to accentuate the bread. Really delicious. Up next is the green tea custard bread. This bread has the look of a hot dog style bun, but is so light and fluffy that it has almost no weight to it. 
It has a similar taste to the custard bread, a really nice sweet yeasty bread flavor. And the inside is filled with a delicate green tea cream. There isn't an overpowering flavor here, just a nice subtle hint of green tea without a lot of sugar, if any. This is a beautiful version of their custard bread. Following that is a savory pastry, the Chicken Curry Karaoke. It has a deep golden brown color and is covered in their crunchy coating that I loved on the cinnamon twist. They sell these with a few different fillings, so if you don't like the chicken, they have a vegetarian option and one other as well. Breaking it open, we see that it's filled with bright yellow chicken, onion, and herbs. It smells and tastes amazing. It's lightly spiced, so you can taste all of the flavors together and won't get overpowered for breakfast. Along with that perfect crunchy coating, this has got to be one of my new favorite things. And last but not least, we have the hot dog pizza. I didn't go in there specifically wanting this, but after seeing it, I sure wasn't going to leave without trying one. Bringing out my inner eight-year-old, this beautifully woven butter pastry is topped with hot dog slices and melted shredded cheese. It has a great saltiness from the hot dogs that really balances the butteriness of the pastry. I heated mine up a bit in the oven before eating it, and that made it even better. Sometimes the smallest things can put us in the best moods. And for me, that was this hot dog pizza today. Thanks for watching this week's donut destination. Make sure to leave me a comment down below if you know of a bakery or donut shop in the St. Louis area that sells some fantastic donuts that I haven't been to yet. And I'll make sure to feature them on an upcoming episode. Stay tuned next week when we'll be visiting another St. Louis area donut shop on the STL Donut Tour. We're on looking for the gateway to the west through fried dough. Have a great day, everyone.